Hi there. My name is Bill Schwab, and I'd like to welcome you back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. And I'd like to welcome you to part one in a series I'm going to do here on uh, something I'm really excited about, and that is building a ultraviolet LED uh, exposure unit for um, alternative process printing. So if you are an uh, alternative process printer, you're going to want to uh, watch this series because uh, this is finally bringing me into the 21st century as far as uh, equipment goes. Now, as a lot of you know uh, from watching my other videos, I've been using an old fluorescent tube uh, wooden box that I built myself. And uh, I do like to continue building my things myself. And uh, that's why this one is so cool because uh, this one is designed uh, by a very good friend of mine uh, by the name of Clay Harmon that some of you may know. And if you don't know him, you should know him. Uh, he is the author of this book, uh, Polymer Photo Photogravure. So he, he kind of actually wrote the book on it. Um, it's a really great book, by the way, if any of you are in getting into polymer photogravure. Um, he's starting to do a lot of things direct to plate and uh, as far as the exposures go. And he's actually been using a unit like this in doing that process. So actually a little bit more powerful unit uh, than this, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, what Clay did is he came up with an idea to build this, uh, to build this box himself and, um, or, or to basically set out the plans for others to build it themselves. Now, I've recently used these um, back in Toronto. You may have seen it in one of my, in my first studio visits uh, video with the, uh, the great Barb Carney in Toronto. And he has an amazing unit that was built by John Cohn and uh, the people at Inkjet Mall. Um, fantastic unit, very pricey because it was so large. And, uh, but anyway, basically we're going to be using those same lights and, um, and kind of going at our own for, for a little bit less expense. Now, uh, John and, and Inkjet Mall, they make some really beautiful units and they will definitely build one for you. Um, and I'll also leave a link to them. But for this one, we're going to do this ourselves, and uh, I would say that the price on this comes in at around twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, which is pretty good considering, you know, even the old wooden ones that I was building with tubes at the at you know would cost six, seven hundred dollars, and if you had them built by other people, it would be about the same. And uh, so, yeah, and who can beat this cool-looking box, right? I mean, this is amazing. Uh, Clay has designed this box. And he's given it to a fabricator who's put it together and made the die cuts and made the, uh, the, uh, the door. Uh, we called this a pizza oven type. And this is kind of the way that my, the wooden ones were as well. Um, but anyway, they, uh, they came together and they built this thing. Now, it's not cheap. As I said, it's about half the cost of the whole, uh, the whole unit. And, um, but it's really nice to have because it's very light and it travels well. And, um, you know, once I've got this thing completely built, it's going to be a real powerhouse as far as exposures go. Um, my current uh, box um, comes in at about nine minutes for a, a maximum black. And this one is going to come in around three minutes, maybe a little bit less. Now, we did use this one. Uh, Carrot Kuklis was in on the first uh, build of all these. And we had one of these out at Yosemite to actually use back in November of last year, and it was great. Uh, we were getting exposures about three minutes, um, but on Carex, uh, a couple of the light strips had malfunctioned, and so we had a little bit le less light coming in. And um, from what I'm hearing from people who have finished this out and have the, all the strips working in that at the same time, they've been getting a little bit less than three minutes. So we're gonna find out in a couple of days where that is, uh, where that exposure is, but for now, I'm just collecting the components. Now, all of the components are available on um, Amazon, um, except, of course, for the, the UV light strips, which um, you get from Inkjet Mall. And I'll talk more about that later when we get into the next video about all the components. But so far, I don't have any, uh, everything. But you know, there, we, I will have links in the future to all the different components that you'll need and how to get them. Um, you know, there's different wiring that you're going to need. There's different connectors, um, some uh, outlet plugs, uh, you know, rabbit ear plugs that, that, uh, that power the thing. Um, 
Uh, the, the box itself will come with a timer. It comes with a really nice digital timer which will go into the die cut area over here. Um, and uh, that'll be part of the assembly when we get to that part in the uh, series of videos. Um, also, you're going to need a, uh, a transformer. This is a 350 watt transformer. Um, I'll be showing you how to wire that up in the course of these videos as well. Uh, so as you can see, I've got a few of the things right now, but I don't have everything and I should be having them over the next couple of days. And that's when we'll get down to the, uh, to the actual laying out of the components and listing them for you and, uh, and that kind of thing. And then after that, we'll go into the final uh, one of the videos, which we will actually be doing the assembly of it and the final testing where we will go for our maximum black and find out where we actually are on our exposure. So yeah, I'd really like to thank Clay for designing this and this is where I'm going to tell you how you too can get one of these boxes and get in on this and build one of your own. Hopefully with the uh, guidance of me in the next few days and putting this together. Now Clay, again, I'm going to leave the link for Clay's uh, website and his uh, YouTube channel below and I really hope you'll go there and subscribe. And there he also has some uh, instructional videos on how to put it together. Um, uh, but uh, um, I'm hoping to incorporate this with some of the things that he's done and hopefully get you, uh, get you going and get you finished. Now some good friends of mine and really great printers in their own right have already been using these. Uh, some of the people that got in the first ones were uh, like Mark Sarazen and uh, Baba Barnett. Um, as far as I know, Bob is actually going to build her second one now. And uh, Carrick Kuklis was in on that one. Clay, of course, built, I think, a couple of boxes. I was lucky enough to get in on the second build of these, of which there were 10 people. And uh, so that's where this came from. And as you can see, it's unfinished right now. But some of the people that were in a workshop of Carrick's that I assisted in in November uh, have already built their own. Uh, Becky Logan, um, John Howard. It's amazing. I, I'm jealous because I really wanted to get going on this. So I'm glad I'm finally getting on, getting on to it. And uh, I'm glad to be able to take you along for the ride. So um, you can order one of these for Clay, from Clay. Now, I just talked with him today uh, and getting his blessing for doing this. And, uh, and he told me that they are going to be actually doing three ordering sessions a year for this. Now, the cool thing is, is that as of this uh, video, which I am doing on February 28th, he has a deadline of March 19th on the next order. So I will definitely leave a link for how you can buy one of these boxes and order it. Now you'll get the box, you'll get the handle, and you'll get the timer. All of the other things you're going to have to order yourself and, and assemble yourself. But everybody, it's, it's very simple to do and with just a little bit of coaching you're going to be able to do it yourself. Now as far as sizing on this. Um, I haven't measured it out right now, but what it does do is it handles quite nicely a, uh, a 16 by 20 uh, print frame. And uh, we also, when using it in the workshop out in California, we were able to put two of our smaller uh, uh, 11 by 12 uh, print frames in there to no problem at all. So we were able to actually move people through the workshop a lot faster having a much faster um, exposure time. I, if I were you and I'm going to build my own, this is the way I would go. I mean, uh, I don't know what the saying is, but you know, kind of take the punch on the expense of something at once and you don't have to worry about it again. You know what I mean? And my old wooden boxes, they're really heavy and I, I don't like carrying them around to other workshops. Like if I'm going on the road to do a workshop somewhere, I don't ever take those. I always go to where they are uh, where they already have their own and very often those are very slow and uh, you know it's just the way it goes. Now again you can go the easy route and the more expensive route and order one of these from Inkjet Mall which I would highly recommend if you have the, uh, the, the money and the wherewithal to do that. Uh, but for those of you like me that like to uh, get your hands dirty and make something on your own um, this is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Um, I'm sure it will be, like I say. Uh, I know several people that have put this together already and, uh, you know, none of them are terribly uh, electrical wizards, um, but they've all done it. And uh, so anyway, with that, um, I'm going to leave you the link on how to get one of these boxes. But even if you don't get the box, 
all of the components that we are going to assemble could be used in another way if you have another way to house them. So I hope that you'll stick with me and watch those uh, and follow along with this video series. Uh, I think that's about it for right now. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, just explain this. It's really nice brushed aluminum. Um, as you can see, uh, they have the die cut areas out here for different uh, switches that go in here um, and that kind of a thing. Uh, on this end, uh, you can see that there are three holes cut out for uh, fans that work as exhaust fans to keep the unit cool. Uh, those are part of the components that you order. But yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful unit. Oh yeah, and in the back here, there's some nice, um, nice vents cut in there. Uh, it's really nicely made. Uh, it travels really well. It's very light and uh, I highly recommend it. So uh, stick with me. We're going to get to the next video in a couple of days here when I get all of the components collected. And at that time, I'll start listing them and linking them for you. Uh, I just want to make sure that I know that I have everything before I start telling you what to buy. So with that, yeah, stick with me. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, tell a friend about it if, you're, uh, if, if you know other people that are interested in this. I'm telling you, this is really the way that, it's, that things are going to go as far as people that print like we do. And uh, thanks very much. Stick with me, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. All right? Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.